riverbeds will rush down the mountainside below, covering it in acres and acres of flowers. The prince also had many soldiers and servants at his side who were very royal. <laughs> this prince had everything. It was a wonderful life. And it was also very royal. <laughs> and yet each day the prince would take a walk along the mountain ridge. And then he would gaze into the valley below with one hope, the hope that he would catch a glimpse of one poor and simple maiden. You see, the prince saw beyond the simplicity of this maiden girl. He saw her beauty. In fact, he was absolutely enthralled by how beautiful she was. He loved her, and he deeply desired to be loved back by her. Now the king was witness to all this. The king knew from all his years as being, well, the king, that this was never going to work out. After all, the prince was so very powerful and very royal. And the maiden, being so simple and far away, the king thought to himself, if I have the maiden brought to the castle, then the prince will always wonder, does she love me, or is she simply obeying me? Then the king thought to himself, if I take my horses and guardians and banners and parade into her world, then the prince will still always wonder, does she love me, or is she simply afraid of me? The king pondered this at great length, until finally he had a magnificent idea. Upon hearing the plan, the prince was greatly burdened by the great risk of it all. But the thought of being loved back by that maiden was worth any risk. The prince bowed before the king, and the king decreed that the young man's great title of prince be removed. He took off his crown. He took off his robes, and he took off his princely garments, and instead he placed upon his body the clothes of his very poorest servant. Father and son embraced, knowing they would be separated, while the prince goes down into the valley to be near the one who captured his heart. Freeze! <laughs> I mean, of course, it's hardly finished, but that's how it was written, to be an open-ended parable or story that gets us thinking about something really important. And I want to tell you more about that in a minute, but first, let me introduce you to my actresses, Maiden Sydney, Prince Tatum, and King Janie. Let's give them a hand! Good job, ladies. Moms and daughters, I have the best news for you. This story, it's...